What's up guys? So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, besides doing woodworking, I do uh, a lot of 3D printing. I really love 3D printing because I can print things that I come up with or I can also print things that uh, that help me in my shop and doing other stuff or inventing stuff. So today I have a G-Tech A30M. It's a dual headed printer. So you can do two colors. It's got two extruders. It's got two uh, it's a two into one, so it has two colors and they can blend into one, or you can do multicolored prints, such as such as the frog here with all the stripes and all that. So uh, I already have the A20M that I've been printing on for quite a while. We're going to do the unboxing of this uh, G Tech A30M today. And then I'm going to use it for a little while, and then we'll do a follow-up review of the uh, actual use and how it turns out. Because they changed the print head a little bit, and how the filament feeds, and it's supposed to prevent uh, jamming and other issues that have been that have come up in the past in their their old uh, setup. So we'll get to getting it unpacked and check it out, see how it'll come to you. I think it's supposed to come pretty much together and you might just need to put a couple things together on it so we'll see when we crack in there all right as you can see it's a pretty good sized box leveling paper. That's the first time I've seen something like this on uh, on any printer and I've had a couple of them. Specific leveling paper. It's a little uh, cheat sheet, I guess. Pretty much how to set it up, get it going. Oh yeah, it's pretty good size. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, it's assembled for the most part. That is a huge. <laughs> print bed. There's your print surface. Dice. Oop, there's a loose screw. Evidently, uh, be aware that there might be loose screw or something in there. It's a little uh, mouse pad. Some sample filaments. I like to use their sample filaments, and and if they send filament with their with their machine, and it prints crappy. There's a problem. They should only be sending you stuff that is going to for sure print well on their printer that they send you. This looks like uh, one of the, or both of the spool holders, if you use those. They work well. Never had an issue with uh, my other one. A little SD card in there. Oh, these are the uh, these are the runout indicators. So if your filament runs out, 
it'll pause the machine and not uh, ruin your print. It's another loose bolt. Your extruder motors. Another loose bolt. So they need to work on their packaging a little better. Besides the uh, the foam packing, that's all really good, but that can all be great. You got your printer, but if there's loose bolts and you're missing one, you can't put it together. So you, you don't even have the printer. There's the other extruder. We got our, here's our big main deal. All right. So here's your print head. You can see how it comes in like as a Y shape on this, this version. And it's two in, one out. And the only thing about G-Tech that I have come up with, they, I like their machines, but they have a lot of proprietary stuff. So, like um, the, the screen and the knob on my A20M broke, and it's a G-Tech specific. It's not, a, uh, it's not one of the ones that are you know readily available that you can get from just about anywhere on Amazon, eBay, whatever. So that's a little bit annoying because everything coming from China usually will take a long time. And if you can't uh, come up with some sort of a repair that's right away, you're gonna be not able to print until it comes from China, which could be you know a week or longer or whatever, it just depends. So on the back here, they've got the dual the dual motors and uh, lead screws, which on the uh, A20 end, they've only got one on the one side. But it's pretty much the same looking setup, just a little larger. It's sleek, I like it. Um, like I said, it's just like a big brother of the one I've got. Um, I'm hoping this is going to provide some um, resolutions to some of the clogging issues and and uh, I've always had a really hard time on the A20M I've had a hard time printing TPU and flexible stuff so hopefully maybe this will have some sort of a result resolving of that so like I said the packaging is really nice except all this loose crap This I am not happy about. I don't like this stuff. This is annoying. This is this this printer is $4.99. And if you're gonna spend $4.99, you're gonna want your bolts to at least be in a bag. Because listen. There's all kinds of little pieces that are floating around in this box. And who knows if there are any that are missing because when you're talking about washers that are this size yeah so hopefully I've got everything I mean, I guess we'll find out whenever I put it together, but, and it's a pretty straightforward assembly. You're just basically putting this on the top. So, uh, this has got the touch screen as well. So, I haven't had a, a printer with a touch screen before, so we 
we'll see how that works. This has also got the macro, the micro uh, SD card slot. So, yeah, this is all uh, the touchscreen version, I believe. But it's got a nice. Uh, this is a nice protector. So it's um. Uh, let's see here. Some of the data that's on here. Model A30M. Printing volume 320 by 320 by 420. Platform size 330 by 330. Uh, filament diameter is 1.75, which is standard normal one. Nozzle diameter is 0.4. Printing type 2 in, 1 out. Max nozzle temp is 250C. Max hotbed temp is 110C. Print technology is FDM. And it's a 24 volt. Has large build volume, brake resuming capability, high accuracy, and HD touchscreen. So that's what we're working with here. Now a little flake of something under the under the screen there. But yeah. So the packaging sucks. But well, partially sucks. Um, the small things could have been packaged better. Because, I, like I said, I still don't even know if I've even got all the pieces that I need. But other than that, they do really well as far as the uh, rest of the packaging. It's not going to get hurt at all. So, I would say that would be it so far. It's just uh, better packaging. Nope, see, here's another piece. So, that's it for now. And uh, I'm going to run it for a little while and try to stress test it. And then we'll do another review then. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.